going to be hear from him. But I think also the Joyce family are with Damien. Paula, congratulations. I make that six Connacks as a player, now three as a manager. I'm not sure I've ever seen you celebrate one like that before. It means an awful lot to everyone involved. Yeah, look, it does. It means an awful lot to me personally. Um, it means an awful lot to the players, just over the, more so because of the stick we've got over the last all years. It's been a troublesome year for us. Um, our backs have been to the walls since January with injuries <coughs> and obviously a bit of form. But one thing I always said about these players, I never, ever, ever questioned the character in them, <coughs> the commitment and effort they give for Galway football. Like, and even the game looked to be gone there as the last three minutes time up and with two points down and three wonderful scores to win the game. And look at, again, like Conor Gleeson gets probably so much unfair criticism in this county about kickouts and whatnot, but absolutely <coughs> man of steel there at the end, um, ice in the brain, like two super kicks in Fenerton. Um, unbelievable, brilliant winning score. There's a lot of football still to be played this year and you want to be involved until the very latter stages of it. Do you have a sense that we're now going to see the Galway that you know you're capable of, that this is almost like a landmark win in the season? Yeah, well, look, you'd always hope, Damien, it's a turning point, yeah, but look, we, we, we felt in great form in the semi-final. We're looking to scrape over the line on it, but uh, look, hopefully it'll, it'll bring us, it'll obviously get more game time into it. I had the last day, you know, Shane came in there and did his bit, kicked two great scores for us. We had to from play and kicked a free as well, so Damien got more game time in the legs and, you know, we'd kill him at day back on the bench again today and, like, Matty Tierney made a fabulous contribution. Um, Danny Flaherty, I thought, came in three or four minutes to go and set up two scores for us, you know, so look, it's delighted with the win and, and delighted with the lads and hopefully they will push on. Your number one fan has joined the, or your number one and number two fans have joined uh, the interviews. How much pressure was there this week? Like, it's only natural. You, you can't not be aware of, of what's been said and what's been spoken and the questions that have been asked. Look, but of course you're aware of it, like, because when, when, when lads go writing articles about Porridge Ice only beating Mayo once in eight matches, you, you have to you get simply about 40 times, you have to read it, but nothing about lads in the opposition not winning kind of title. So look, at it, it, it is what it is. We know the pressure, but again, I don't think anybody puts more pressure on ourselves than I do as a manager and probably me on top of the players. So look, at, I know the talent in the group. Uh, sometimes here in Galway, we feel like that we're not getting the best out of the groups, but look, it, it needs, you need a lot to go your way as well. You need look, um, you need a, bit, need a bit of form on the day. We missed a couple of goal chances there today as well. So look, we, we are where we are. We're kind of champions three times in a row. Yeah. We haven't done it in a couple of years, so it's good. Uh, goals, chances, a couple that drop short as well. Like you, you'll, you'll concede, you'll be open enough to say that the performance level is going to have to grow much more to be involved at the latter stages. Of course, yeah, but look, at, we set up the team to, to be involved in the game, <clears throat> come down the last 15, 20 minutes, which we were, and look at our, our key men probably kept, kept, us, kept us going the end. They, they delivered, or Rob Finnerty, Damien, these lads, they delivered eventually. So was great. Just to finish, how do you feel now about the prospect of the, the group that awaits you? I think it's fantastic. I, to be honest, I know that's one thing again the GA messed up on. I don't really know why the draw was on. The whole country can understand what the draw was on last week. It's time enough to draw being on Sunday week when we still have a week to prepare for everyone over there. I think like whether it's people talking about Galway losing the game today or Mio losing, I don't think any county want to lose to each other, which was great. And we probably proved that the way the game was played in the second half in a fantastic spirit. Um, tit for tat, fair hitting, uh, very well refereed by David Goff. And look, we're looking forward to it. We've, we've Derry at home in two weeks' time. We'll, could we celebrate tonight for, and probably tomorrow as well, and we'll get ready for Derry Saturday or Sunday week. Congratulations. Cheers, lads. Come on! Go on! Go on! Something tells.